friends welcome to global online today we are discussing nta ugc net 2023 paper 2 economics in this class we discuss about mcqs on welfare economics from microeconomics so today we dealing with welfare economics as a part of microeconomics let's start with the first question first question related to the cardinalistic marginal utility of money so here the cardinalist marginal utility for money for the rich that falls or rises or constant or negative here the cardinalist means the utility is cardinally measurable we know what is a cardinal utility that assumes a sign or a number to the utility so here assign a number for the utility that get from consuming any product or service so for the rich the cardinalist marginal utility of money is false for additional units of the goods or service that get to the rich the marginal utility will fall and here the marginal utility means that based on the idea utility function diminishes as the quantities of the product are increased or the quantities of the product increases the marginal utility of money falls so the additional utility will provide a false or reduction to the overall utility for the rich okay so the cardinalist marginal utility remains the cardinal means the quantity that get to the people that assumes or assign a number for the utility okay next question related to the equal distribution of income may induce people to work so the equal distribution of income means for every work the producer assume or the producer give equal distribution of income to the labor and whether it causes a less more or efficient or hard work to the people or the labor we know the equal distribution of income that causes the employers to work so the employees to work less because all people or all the workers need more and more money for their work but the equal distribution of income causes them to work less or to work ha, ha, not hard okay so the answer is less and the next question related to the general equilibrium here the general equilibrium is consumption the consumption point of view here the consumption point of view leads to efficient distribution of what or whether the resources efficient distribution or goods or labors or new materials so here the general equilibrium means the study of the impact of uh, demand and supply in a market so the both demand and supply in combined way re, uh, react or make process in the market so the general equilibrium is consumption related to the goods so here the consumption of goods the demand and supply will react so here happened general equilibrium for example the study of the impact of carbon taxes uses general equilibrium to assess the effects on various sectors of the economy so we want to get the assess or the effect of carbon tax in the various sectors of the economy we use the general equilibrium okay the next question according to pareto here the pareto means wilfredo pareto and he invented pareto optimality and here the social welfare will increase if one person increases their welfare without decrease in welfare of others or will increase in welfare of others or will decrease in welfare of others or both b and c and the wilfredo pareto we know who is that he is an economist from paris and he invented 
Pareto optimality. What is mean by Pareto optimality? Pareto optimality is a situation where one person welfare will better off without making the other person worse off. So here the answer is without decrease in welfare of others. So the Wilfredo Pareto invented the Pareto optimality and one more concept that is Pareto efficiency. That is the point in economic state where the resources cannot be reallocated to make one individual better off without making the at least one individual worse off. So at that point everyone will better off without anyone be worse off. That is Pareto efficiency. Okay and next before we moving to the next question, let's look what Global Online offering for you. We provide complete syllabus, video lectures, notes, mock tests and last 10 years PYQs and that get from our app in Play Store after enrolling to our app that is Global Online. We can get, uh, you can get the services, video lectures, notes, mock tests and solved PYQs and any queries related to this please contact with the given whatsapp number and get paper 1 complete course free with paper 2 okay and next question related to the general equilibrium in the earlier question we deal with the general equilibrium in consumption and in this question we deal with the production in general equilibrium the production leads to efficient distribution of which factor whether the price goods labor or resources whether in production there are many factors so here the general equilibrium in production leads to the efficient distribution of resources there the various resources the prices labors and also the other factors also come under the resources so in production the efficient distribution of resources will come under general equilibrium in consumption that comes under goods okay and the next question is market failure here the market failure comes into being what or after the market failure what is the effect in the market so there are some more examples for the market failure there and the market failure is a situation in which the allocation of goods and services in a free market economy is not Pareto efficient. In earlier question we deal with Pareto efficiency and this Pareto efficient point is not seen in the market and it leading to a net loss in the economy. So the market failure can cause what, what that is externality. So the other examples are negative externalities, monopolies, inefficiencies in production and allocation and also the incomplete information and inequality. The incomplete information there is asymmetric information. Clear? And also the market failure will happen due to the government policy intervention or the government rules and laws. How it uh, comes to be or what is the relation between the government and the market failure. That is when the government fixes the taxes or subsidies or other controls or regulation that lead to the inefficient allocation of resources that sometimes we call government failure. So the market failure be the government failure when it happens to be the after effect of the taxes or subsidies that introduced or fixed by the government. So the externalities be in simple words is a situation in the effect of production and consumption of goods and services okay so which are not reflected in the prices of the charged goods okay and the next question related to the externality the same thing the externalities may be consumption as well as what happens the next factor that is production so the externalities may be consumption as well as production the both factor one is consumption and the other is production that happens to be the factors of externality and in externality we say that the effect of production or consumption of goods and services imposes 
cost or sometimes benefit on others which are not reflected in the prices charged for the goods and services so whether the uh, there are loss or benefits uh, that happen due to the externalities but it's not reflected on the price or the cost and there are example for the externality that is the for positive example or the positive externality is a benefit of producing or consuming a product that is uh, for example the education system the education is a positive example for externality of school in school we see that the education that is a service or uh, you can get from uh, the school so here the positive externality to be a, a good thing or a uh, benefit for the society so because people learn and develop the skill or careers for their lives in comparison the negative externality is the cost of production or consumption the for example the air pollution the water pollution the various types of pollution that we affect from various system the factory system the industry that happens to be a negative externality we can get the goods and so uh, goods from the factories or the industries but they cause pol po uh, pollution such as air water soil etc so that's an example of negative externality you get it and the next question in market economy an economic agent may create losses but not uh, compensate or compensate or does not make losses or none of this so what happens in a market economy an economic agent may create losses sometimes but does not compensate or compensate or what happened so here the market economy the economic agent may causes losses but does not compensate to the losses in market economy what is a market economy here there uh, there are no intervention of government only the forces of demand and supply will act to buy and sell the goods so the economic agent here the consumers the sellers are the main economic agents so they may create losses but does not compensate to the losses clear and the next question the taxes and subsidies be introduced to check the role of what type of factors whether the internalities externalities consumption or production for so the taxes and subsidies introduced to check the externalities so you can get the what is the externality and also what is the market failure so here the taxes and subsidies we say that the government taxes and subsidies may sometimes make government failure or the externalities but the taxes and subsidies also cause positive impact that's to introduce and check the externality uh, how uh, how would it happened that is for example the income tax for the people who have rich and also there are people who are low income or middle income for the income inequality the government will induce taxes such as income tax and also there are other taxes corporate tax housing tax building tax etc but the income tax will make the introduction and also the inequalities in the income to be removed from the economy so the externalities will be cleared out due to the taxes and subsidies or you can get the clear check on the externalities okay and the next question related to the lingal theorem lingal theorem emphasize support setting of personalized prices of which type of goods private inferior superior or public in lingal theorem in lingal theorem is a form of taxation here and it's introduced by eric lingal a swedish economist and the here he is introduced in 1938 and also here the public goods be emphasized so the answer for this is public goods for here the lingal theorem says that according to this the marginal benefit be considered or whether the 
amount of satisfaction or utility they derive from the consumption of an additional unit of the public good the people will pay for the uh, for the good or the additional unit so the lingual taxation is designed to maximize the efficiency for each individual and provide the optimal level of the public good here the public good we get that what is the type of public goods it's all are uh, afford to the pay or all are uh, want to the benefit for example the road or the street lights or the public well etc any one uh, all are uh, be uh, not, uh, have to the power to use that so anyone is excluded from the benefit of such type of goods so the lintel theorem emphasized that the additional unit of the public good that gets for the public that uh, they will be uh, affordable to pay that good or the marginal utility that get from the good is positive or beneficial to them they are affordable to pay that good okay and the lintel theorem says the emphasize on the setting of personalized prices for public goods is a new concept and also uh, it's very much a uh, maximize the welfare of the people okay the next one is bergson model and here the concept of bergson is designed in to the uh, welfare of the people and it is introduced in an article a reformation of certain aspects of welfare economics in 1938 so the concept of social welfare function was propounded by bergson and in this the point were the social indifference curve is tangent to the grand utility possibility frontier then what happened to the social welfare the tangency point will indicate which force or whether the social welfare minimize or zero or maximum or infinite and the bergson model says that it's maximized or the social welfare at that point of tangency between social indifference and the grand utility possibility frontier and this curve that shows here it's a tangency point the e and l so at that points the utility or the social welfare of the people get maximized and after bergson there are samuelson tinder and also arrow will introduce that or expand that concept so the social welfare considers the welfare for a given set of individual preference or welfare rankings and, the, uh, and also later arrow introduced that social welfare function considers the welfare across different possible sets of individual preferences so here each and every indifference curve shows the various preferences or rankings of the welfare uh, sorry the goods or any services and later the welfare ranking and seemingly reasonable assumes that certain or constrain the function so here the bergson says that the tangency of the social indifference curve and the utility possibility frontier the social welfare be maximized okay and this is the curve that showing the uh, tangency the e point and also the l point so the meaningful uh, meaningful no meaningful proposition can be made in welfare economics without introducing the value judgments so bergson also introduced that the value judgment is much more important to given or to introduce welfare economics so the, uh, the these are the main economists who introduced the social welfare function and the next question related to the monopolies the presence of monopolies that causes the efficiency of economic system to which level to increase to decrease or remain same or change so here the monopolies we, we mean that what is monopoly monopoly is a single seller or the power is in a single hand it does not centralized to many of us so or for uh, a good uh, we want to approach one person or a single person so it causes the welfare or the efficiency to decrease we want efficiency from centralized power or to centralized 
buying and selling of uh, goods okay so the presence of monopolies the efficiency of economic system will decrease clear and the next question welfare economics creates wa what type of factor or what type of influences whether the welfare economy is to high profits or uh, to make high profits or great utility or efficiency and optimality or great coverage and here the answer is efficiency and optimality of course in a uh, welfare economist who seems to allocate the resources in a efficient and optimal manner so welfare economist creates the resources or the factors to be a efficient and, and in optimal manner clear and the next question that's according to bentham social welfare is another economics related to the social welfare function and is the homework question for you and is possible if more goods are available to so here when more goods are available or the social welfare function is possible when the goods are available to which person or which amount of person to certain people or few people or greatest number of people or various class of people and here bentham social welfare is related to the utilitarian social fun welfare function and it's also called bentham welfare function and the utility b the sums of the utility in each individual in order to obtain overall welfare of the society so the welfare is calculated by the summing the each and every individual utility into one and the total of the utility to be the total of the society's welfare and what happened to the more goods are available to uh, which person or certain person few person or greatest number of person or various class of person so the, that's question for you and you can answer the question in the comment box and this question is yesterday's homework question the, uh, the answer for this when demand curve for labor shift to the left the, then there is a dash in price of firms product the, so here the labor shift to the left so the labor curve shift to the left means the labor is decreased or the labor supply is in low or false so what happened to the price of the product to increase decrease or constant or along the demand curve when the labor supply is lowered or false that means the labors are less so the product be more powerful or more price so the price will increase so when demand curve for labor shift to left then the price of the product will increase clear and that's for the day we will meet in next video until then watch videos and answer the question in the comment box thank you have a nice day